Welcome back to Westbrook's Kitchen, and I'm so honored to have my helper by the name of Jada Burton. I've been receiving a lot of emails, and people have been really happy with my low sodium recipes that I've been posting in the videos. But someone sent me a special request. Jada, can you read it? Yes. Pastor Westbrook, we truly have been enjoying your low sodium meals, but can you please make a video of your chili recipe? This is for you, Anthony Saucier. So Jada, receive my email, what should we do? Let's make chili. Let's make chili. Okay Jada, pour in two pounds of ground beef. Now this is for the meat lovers. Pour in two 14 ounce cans of diced tomatoes. Pour in one can of pinto beans with the juice. Pour in one can of kidney beans with juice. And pour in one can of kidney beans with no juice. Pour in one pack of Mrs. Dad's no sodium chili seasoning. Doing a great job, Jada. Pour in four celery stalks. Now pour in one red bell pepper, one green bell pepper, and three fourths of a cup of onion. Pour in a quarter cup of red wine vinegar, one and a half tablespoons of chili powder, or more to your taste. Add in one spoon of no salt seasoning, one teaspoon of cumin, and one teaspoon of dry parsley. Add in one tablespoon of whisker sauce, add in three garlic cloves, and to add a little spice, four chopped jalapeno peppers, fresh. And now add a half a cup of your favorite red wine. It's gonna add that extra flavor to it. Now stir all the ingredients evenly. Once again, I'd like to thank my helper, Jada, and Jada, you did a great job. And for those who like more of a spicier chili, now you know because I'm on a low sodium diet, I don't put as much salt in, but the chili has a real good flavor. Instead of using Mrs. Dash chili mix, choose one of your choice, some are very, very spicy, and you can add as much salt as you want to beef up your chili. Once again, I thank you for joining us, and until next time, God bless.